The current estate tax exemption is $12.06 million in 2022. This is a lot, but should we be thinking about how much tax you may be on the hook for? Hi, I'm John Strohmeyer with Strohmeyer Law. Today we're going to walk through what does the estate tax exemption, the unified credit, actually look like? How much is your estate tax bill actually going to be in the future? So this is something that confuses a lot of people. I hear a lot of clients, I hear a lot of other attorneys say, well, the exemption is 12 point whatever million. We don't need to do any planning. My response to this has been not so fast. The problem is that the estate tax exemption is actually not a fixed amount right now. It goes up for inflation every year. The problem is under current law, and if Congress does absolutely nothing, what will happen is in 2026, the exemption amount is going to drop. So the exemption we have right now isn't the exemption we're guaranteed to have in the future. Of course, Congress could always change that amount through a future law. We're not expecting this to happen in the next few years, but you never know. But it's one thing for me to throw some numbers at you. Let's actually jump in and look at what this looks like because it'll probably be a lot easier to understand. So this is something I've built out just projecting what the estate tax exemption is going to be over the next few years. What you'll see, here we are in 2022. This is where we are right now. The exemption amount is about 12, or it's $12.06 million per person. What you see is that if you go back to 2017, that was last year before we got this giant increase, what happened? Well, at the end of that year, the estate tax exemption amount, that unified credit, was changed from being $5 million as adjusted for inflation from 2011 forward to being $10 million adjusted for inflation from 2011. So this ticks up for inflation every year. We've got the break in the line because here it is 2022. 2023 is our next year. Yeah, it'll be a little bit more. Who knows exactly? We won't know until towards the end of 2022 when the IRS will release that inflation adjustment. Again, under current law, this will take up for inflation over the next few years until we get to 2025. Now, at this time, I'm looking at it being about 13-ish or so million dollars. Who knows? We'll have to get there. And then it drops in 2026. So overnight, December 31, 2025, it'll be about 13 or so million dollars because it's $10 million as adjusted for inflation from 2011 to on January 1, 2026, it's going to be about $6.8 million. And that's $5 million as adjusted all the way back from 2011. So what you see is that we've got this bonus exemption from now until 2026. This is giving people a lot of comfort, but it doesn't mean that there's no tax bill. Why? Well, the exemption amount that's used here, this amount that's over the line, if you were to make large gifts right now, the exemption doesn't actually come from this part that's going away. It's going to come effectively from the bottom, down here. So if you made a million dollar gift here in 2022, when we get to 2026, that exemption amount isn't going to be 6.8 million. It's going to be 6.8 million less that $1 million gift you, you gave. So what we're thinking about is here. In 20, between now and 2026, to use any of this extra exemption that we think is going to go away, you're going to have to make a gift over $6.8 million. And for it to really make sense, you're probably looking at a minimum gift of about $8 million. That's a lot. That's not our focus today. I want to get back to, well, what does this look like for different families with different amounts of assets? So one of the tools we use is a projector that I've built out in Excel to see, well, what is the future estate tax burden gonna look like for different families with different levels of wealth? What I wanna show you is, this is what it'll look like for a married couple, and we're assuming they're both gonna die in the same year with an estate tax exemption amount equal to roughly what these projections are. What are we trying to do? Just get a gauge of how much estate tax are we looking at. So with this family that has about $3 million, well, when we come over to our charts, what are we looking at? Married couple, $3 million. From now until 2022, we've got two lines actually here, but they're on top of each other. There's no really expected estate tax for the next few years. 
good news and bad news. We're not expecting for y'all to have to pay any estate tax. Now, there's a lot of planning that goes on here, but we're just going to simplify it and say, effectively, on the first death, we're going to leave everything to the surviving spouse, but we're going to use some tax planning to make sure that the exemption amount, uh, that unified credit, $12.06 million in 2022 and expected $6.8 million in 2026, we're going to leave that in a special trust that will protect those assets from future estate tax. Everything else is going to go to a U.S. citizen spouse who will own it in either their own names or in a trust that will subject it to a state tax when they pass. There's more to that, but for today, we're just going with what does this future tax bill look like? All right, let's bump these assets up a little bit. Now, if we get to a family that has about 13 million in assets, we come back here, what are we looking at? Well, things have changed. This blue line is the expected estate tax bill if we don't do any planning. And for me, doing zero planning for state tax ends up looking like we're just going to leave everything to the surviving spouse outright. What does that mean? On that second death, if we haven't done anything else, all those assets are going to be held by the surviving spouse. So putting things together, we've got 13 million in assets that's held in a truck or held by the surviving spouse. Both of them died here in 2022. Well, $13 million dollars with a $12.06 million state tax unified credit, well, you, you're looking at an approximate tax bill of about $376,000. Again, it's not exactly 40% of what's out there. This is a projection. We're just trying to get an idea of how big of a tax slice are we going to pay. Well, that's not great. It's not horrible. And you're going to see as the estate tax exemption goes up, assuming no growth in those assets, over the next few years, the expected bill drops, but then in 2026, when that exemption gets cut in half effectively, the tax bill jumps way up. Again, this is no planning. We're saying on a second death, everything owned outright by the surviving spouse. What you're looking at though, this red line, if we do this tax planning, if we put a family trust in place as, or a bypass trust, depending on how your, if we use this credit shelter trust, sometimes called a family trust, sometimes called a bypass trust, well, that expected estate tax bill is remaining flat at zero. Doesn't matter. You know, the family with $13 million is effectively able to take this two and a half or so million dollar tax bill right off the map. That's great. That's a great win for them. So what you're seeing is the family with $3 million, we're not really worried about estate tax. Good news and bad news. The family with 13 million, they need to be thinking about it, even though in their mind, they're probably thinking, well, 12.06 million, there are two of us. We don't have to worry about tax at all. Let's bump these up even more and let's put this into a $27 million family. $27 million. If we come back here, what we're now seeing is something a little different. Instead of having just a tax bill only if we did no planning, we've got a tax bill almost no matter what we do. Now, obviously, there's a difference in the amount of tax we're going to pay. The, the family that does no tax planning leaves everything outright to the surviving spouse. They're going to have an about a $6 million tax bill here in 2022. It's going to jump up and be about $8 million in 2026 when the exemption comes down. And then it's going to slowly taper off. Again, I've assumed no growth in the assets, so think about that. If the assets were to grow in value, we're paying tax based on date of death values, these amounts are going to go up. So the tax bill would go up. The difference, though, won't stay the same, because what will happen here when we're doing tax planning, we're taking half those assets off the table, we're putting them in a trust so that the spouse, the surviving spouse, still has access to them, but they're sheltered from future estate tax. So any growth in those assets will, in fact, not be subject to estate tax on the surviving spouse's death. What we're looking at then, the projections, if we included growth, would actually diverge. You'd have, what you'd be looking at is the estate tax bill with no planning would go up at a faster rate than, the, it would go up at a faster rate than the tax planning bill. Again, 
we're only growing half the assets that are going to be subject to estate tax. But putting it back together, again, it gives us three different scenarios we look at. One, the family that really isn't worried about estate tax right now. You know, good news and bad news, we don't have a tax bill on the horizon, and unless that exemption amount comes way down, we're really not going to have one. The second large group of families, the ones that can benefit from some testamentary planning. We don't need to do any aggressive planning now. We just need to have something in place for when that first spouse dies so that we can take care of those assets later. Our third group, these are the families that pretty much no matter what happens to the exemption, we're worried about estate tax, and so we want to start thinking about it. Yes, testamentary planning is helping, but we're going to need to but we're gonna to wanna to do some more planning than just relying on testamentary or time of death planning to address the estate tax. So there's a lot in this. This is just an overview of what's gonna happen with the estate tax exemption for the next few years, and how we're thinking about it. If you've got questions, we'll be doing more videos about this. Don't forget to drop questions below. Thanks so much for watching. If you've got other questions about this, go ahead and leave a question in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.